Hi guys, welcome to this short video about this men's leather fashion wallet. It's even an RFID or RFID protection wallet for men. I think it's the best or highest rated or most trendy men's wallet on TMU, which still has a decent size and a small coin pocket that's pretty hard to find sometimes these days so this is how i got it from team U. and the idea why i did that is because it was super hard to find any kind of real good reviews on team U. i think they are not allowing to make any video reviews and so it was super hard to find some information about the size if it fits uh, for me, for the credit cards, or uh, also for US bills. It has more than 22,000 reviews on TMU, but almost impossible to find some good information, unfortunately. So this is how it looks. I think it's not a bad thing. And already in the description of this listing, it's saying PU leather. It's not normal leather. It's not real leather. When you take this a little bit closer, you can smell at it and there's absolutely no leather smell. So this is definitely not leather. This is PU, but this is pretty much standard what uh, most manufacturers are using when they are not using real leather and it doesn't mean that it's not lasting very long of course usually leather lasts a little bit longer but pure leather is a pretty good standard thing for such uh, items i'm positive surprised the metal here, yeah, the metal here is a little bit, or could be a little bit a problem. I mean, it looks good, but I'm not sure how long this will stay in shape. I mean, I can't tell you anything. It looks good at the moment, but I don't know how long it will look like that. But I think it's not something which is really needed. And regarding the size, this is my old wallet. So I think it has a decent size. So we can open it here, open it here. Then we have this inner part. It looked a little bit weird. Uh, on the pictures, it looked almost like we could remove this part here inside, but I think we cannot do that. I mean, I'm okay with that. Maybe there's a, like a Velcro here inside, which holds it. No, I think it's fully attached, so I think it's good. And we really have quite some pockets with zippers, so we could put some things here inside, maybe a coin and then we have another pocket that's a larger pocket here zippers are not working really good but they are working okay i would say uh, also this pocket here and we have another pocket here large pocket so we have two large pockets which could be used for coins or even this one which is a little bit small and we have plenty of openings for credit cards for pictures for other things here uh, uh, really nice we have so many pockets here inside what's that sounds a little bit weird i don't know why but there is nothing here inside for me it looks really good I don't have many coins with me at the moment, just a couple of them which I use for a shopping cart. So I could easily put them here. Uh, yeah, works definitely good. Then how about the US dollar bills? What I like with the US dollar bills, they have exactly the same size. In some other countries, the bills, they have different sizes. So let's see if we can put this here in the back i think works pretty good yeah the size is definitely enough for the us bills it's not super large could be a little bit larger but you don't have to fold them they definitely fit here inside i mean when we compare them this was the size of my old wallet and so it's definitely easier to fit some bills here in this size compared to this size this is the bare minimum what you need but it still works and then let's use some credit cards i mean these are not really credit cards but these are things from t-mobile which i kept here so i can use and show you them here yeah they are nice here i would say not bad i mean we can also easily 
uh, put them back, take them out at least this one, maybe a little bit more difficult this one, but also this one works here easily to take out, put them back. Uh, we could also use this one here. Yeah, there are so, so many openings here. Also, this one could work for credit cards and on this side. I mean, yeah, that's actually an awesome wallet, at least at the moment, and it's not uh, falling apart. It's not too cheap, I would say. I'm not expecting that this will last for 10 years or so, but maybe a year or two, I'm good with that. And I'm definitely going to use this one here because the other one is falling apart. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the team you listing down into the description. By the way, it's not an affiliated link. I don't have any account there or so. I just wanted to help you if you are looking for a nice purse, nice wallet with some pockets for coins and also a lot of pockets for credit cards and uh, other stuff and bills and so on because it looks like more and more purse manufacturers are only supporting uh, bills or not even that many are only supporting credit cards these days that's it but for me personally it's still a uh, very important thing to have still some cash with me in case anything happens maybe with the bank account or so or maybe we could have even a total collapse of the electricity for some time we could have a large hurricane or other disaster you really never know you cannot rely only on electronic stuff we have been very happy in the last couple of years that everything has been working but you never know and I highly recommend to have always a little bit of cash with you and yeah that's it for now I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or other opinions or maybe other solutions other really nice wallets which support also coin then just let us know down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you next time